I just uh, announced on both Twitch and my Otafa YouTube channel that I'm not going to do, I'm not going to do live and Live anime review since late October last year. It's been part of my, uh, of my brand building, but when you know that uh, no one cares about live anime reviews, you just gotta know where to. Nearly every one of which would treat anime reviews as spoilers. Alright? How can you justify your review if you're not going to cite some scenes from that episode? Alright? It's, uh, it's the only proof you have as to why you gave this a scene from uh, from an episode you haven't seen before. You usually take that guy's word for it. If you do, well, you got the problem, not the critic or the viewer. Right? This is my point of view. Uh, I'm not asking people to take my word for it when it comes to watch that anime or not. Right? My rating it's it's just my opinion. Right? You're gonna take that as a uh, spoiler and tell me no spoilers please. You're getting you're getting all wrong. It's just a review. Why are you taking it as a spoiler? They are saying you to search my power thing. If you feel you have spoiler phobia, don't watch that show anymore. Flat out. You just be um You'll just be tiring yourself out and at the same time piss the other person off. Basically. Pag mong basagin ang trip ng iba kung ayaw mga 
hindi ko maaaring mga spoilers sa akin ng sinusubaybay ang tisyo. Ay, ito ang tinami. Babasari mo ng no spoilers to this. Paano na yun? Ay, spoiler ko kung hindi ka. So, what can you do with our tip? If you feel you have spoiler of Shut up and let the, let the reviewer or the reviewer do his thing. Don't take his word for it. Alright? Basically, that's it. If you feel you are spoiler of don't take the other person's word for it.